All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. Uh, today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've got the 25 Auto Bernadelli out here, and I'm gonna answer a couple of questions. I had a YouTuber comment recently, well, not so recently, a while back actually. He had a couple issues with his 25 Auto. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a couple of suggestions. I'm not a qualified gunsmith, but I'm gonna share some of my experience and uh, try to help Gary out just a little bit, so. Show you the gun is clear okay so the first thing that he noted was or the simplest thing was that the gun would not fire um, when he flipped the safety down so I don't know what the solution to that one would be some of the models will not fire if you don't have the magazine in so I don't know uh, so if you bracket pull the magazine out well it fired that time some some models won't do that Gary mentioned that the button on the back of the gun was already depressed that releases the slide bolt that's what this assembly back here is called is the slide bolt he said that the button was pressed in I'm not so sure about that what I would suggest is to take both thumbs and push as hard as you can to try to re-engage this piece the slide bolt if that doesn't work take a block of wood or on a hard surface throw a cloth over it and just push down as hard as you can to try to get that to engage and see if you can feel a click of course make sure the guns empty before you do that but try to make sure that that's gonna click and it'll press up pop that button up there's a spring in there if it's still stuck you might try some WD-40 or penetrating oil. I'm not a big fan of cleaning a gun or using WD-40 on guns unless you have a problem. I would, there's enough products on the market out there that you could find a good quality cleaning product without having to use WD-40. Um, but you could try that. If that doesn't work, I would definitely suggest going to see a qualified gunsmith to have that checked out. Item number three was he mentioned that he took the grip off and a piece of metal fell out. I'm going to take a guess that that's one of three things. Either your grip screw, because sometimes it falls right out. <clears throat> the safety spring, which is right here. It's a little leaf spring. I just call it that for lack of a better term. A leaf spring that sits in the grip or your safety bar. So your safety bar sits <coughs> in there. It's got a notch right here that sits in this hole and it moves it up and down you've got a leaf spring inside your inside of your grip and the way it sits there's two flanges on the top and bottom of this piece and those sit down in my experience I believe that's the way it sits it sits down so it applies pressure onto the safety just like that the main thing is is that your safety engages to keep the weapon safe when you don't want it to shoot carefully place that metal and you can feel some tension there and so when you get it in place you can feel the safety it has a little bit of resistance to it to make it click into place and I guess that's what that springs for you put your grip back on and you can feel some tension there I guess that's what that springs for now my grip is cracked a little bit so it gives it a <coughs> gives a little less pressure but and there you go I hope this helped somebody out I hope this helps Gary out and again if you've got a question that you really don't know about or don't feel comfortable doing I would definitely suggest going to see a qualified gunsmith thanks for watching That's